Hello and welcome back to my channel and another episode of my Sims Wedding Stories Let's Play. So I've decided to backtrack on last episode a little bit because last episode Kim and Melly had a rehearsal dinner at the bar in Sulani and um, it went really well and they came home and they were really happy. Problem is Kim's not really happy. <laughs> so if you remember I wanted to do it at a wedding venue but I thought I couldn't. I thought that the only options were all the other things so I, I went to a bar instead of a wedding venue venue but actually looking back at that footage I could have gone to a wedding venue I just didn't see it in the options but it was there so the story that I'm going with is that Melanie booked it and Kim isn't happy because Kim's like me I suppose in the sense that she also wanted it to be a proper wedding venue and she's not particularly happy that it was just at a bar I mean she had a good time anyway but um I think to her it just felt like it was just a normal hanging out with her friends rather than actually an official wedding thing um so what she is just looking up now is she's emailing the wedding venue to ask if they if they had anything on today because she doesn't trust Melanie to be honest and they are telling her that no they didn't have anything on today and that actually they probably could have even fit them in short notice so I don't think Kim's that happy that they didn't go to a wedding venue and they went to a bar instead so um she's probably going to go and have a go at Melanie again in a minute as well <laughs> Melanie's just down here watching TV, minding her own business. No idea that anything's wrong. She's she's convinced that they just had a really nice time and um, she doesn't know that Kim's upstairs sleuthing, <laughs> trying to catch her out. <laughs> but she is about to find out. So even when they thought they were having a good time, apparently they're not. Apparently even that's going to result in an argument. Um, and what Kim's going to do instead is she's going to have another day off work tomorrow and uh, we're going to try again <laughs> because I actually do want to have like a proper little rehearsal dinner. So it's going to be a rehearsal dinner take two because we have technically already done it we're doing it again so we're gonna have Kim take a day off work and we're also gonna have her rearrange this dinner for tomorrow she's gonna take charge because she can't seem to let go of that control <laughs> so we'll plan wedding events rehearsal dinner again we'll do it much the same but um yeah see it's right here the wedding venue so we could have done it last time but that's all right <laughs> we'll go at 12 again and um that's now arranged for tomorrow all righty so let's get them all sorted this morning and um, pretty much just jump straight into the re rehearsal dinner, I suppose. Kim is absolutely determined that this day is going to go perfectly. She's had to take control of everything. She feels like Melanie can't do anything right, which is exactly what you should feel about your future spouse. But she is determined that today is going to go perfectly no matter what. All right, so it is time to head off to the rehearsal dinner, so let's go. Okay, so I'm just looking at the um, tasks, and I'm pretty sure I clicked on drinks, and that's not showed up here. I've got dancing, toast, desserts, and feast but no drinks I'm gonna have to look back at that and see if I did click drinks or not but I thought I did but maybe I didn't we'll see <laughs> Um, but anyway, I guess, where's a good place to do a rehearsal dinner? Maybe in here? Is this a good place? Right, let's have everybody gather in here as much as we can anyway. And let's also fill this fountain up. Um, I'm not sure why I was expecting there to be food here. Maybe what we should have done is cooked a meal and brought it. And I'm not seeing anywhere to cook, so for some reason I thought there'd be like a buffet table or something, but maybe not. Oh, there is a, there is a thing here. I can serve food here. Okay, we'll do that. Um, we'll have it out here then instead. So Kim, you come and serve food. Let's serve. Let's serve a roast. Let's serve roast chicken. Um, yeah, we'll all gather out here. To be fair, a lot of people seem to have done that anyway. And we'll hire a pianist as well. Oh, we can serve lots of things. I see. Let's just really spend everything. Okay, I think that table is full now. Yeah, I can't click on it anymore. So there's plenty of food for whoever wants to grab it. Um, a pianist is on the way. And I forgot about dessert again, but that's all right. And what I'm going to do what I always do and blame me for getting on Melanie. Um, so I didn't forget dessert. Melanie forgot dessert. So Kim's looking around for the cake. She's going to say, Melanie. Where's the cake you made? And Melanie's gonna go, what cake? What cake are you talking about? And um, that's not gonna end well. And they're gonna fight yet again. Except this time, all their friends can hear them. Or at least some of them can, because some of them aren't paying attention, but the ones who are paying attention can hear them. And it's really awkward. Uh, Alex is coming here to try and break it up, and the other Alex looks like he's on his way as well. I think this time, though, I don't think Melanie's just going to take it sitting down. I think she's going to fight back. Alex is, you're kind of in the way. <laughs> 
Do you mind? I think Kim has sort of become very aware that the two Alexes are there. So she's going to try and uh, walk away. But I actually think that Melanie's not having it this time. Melanie's going to follow her. They're going to fight in front of everyone. They're going to properly blow this entire event up. Because Kim is under the mistaken impression that Melanie would never fight in front of their friends. But Melanie's had it out to here. She's sick of being told what to do. She's sick of not being appreciated. Guys, you don't have to sit down. In fact, I'd rather you didn't sit down. <laughs> this isn't really a sitting down conversation. Um, can you like stand up? Evie, can you <laughs> leave the conversation please? I'm trying to I'm trying to do something here. And everyone's getting in the way. Kim, stand up. I think everyone's trying desperately to pretend they can't hear it, but um these two, they're just seeing red. Melanie, don't you dare sit down. Melanie. <sighs> For fuck's sake. As I was saying, everyone's trying desperately not to hear it and they can't, it's too much, it's too loud. These two have seen red. They're just not paying attention whatsoever to anything that anyone else is doing. I'm actually just so you're gonna just quickly change them into the formal wear uh, because I hadn't realized that they weren't in it already. <laughs> you know what the next thing I think is gonna happen is, I think in the heat of the moment, I think Melanie's just gonna end it. I think that she's basically just gonna say, you know what, do you even actually wanna be with me? And Kim's gonna say something along the lines of, I don't know. And that's it, that's all it takes. You know, I know that you were fighting and everything, but Melanie, you shouldn't be that happy about this. Kim's not, Kim's almost more torn up than Emily. Who the hell's Emily? Melanie. Um. These guys, I don't know how much they heard. Obviously they could hear an argument. I don't know if they've realised that it's over or if they're hoping that they can just stay for the free food. I think that Melanie is probably going to go and wash her face in the bathroom or something. I don't know. I think Melanie just wants to get out of there. And um, Kim is going to tell everybody that it's time to go home. I don't know that Kim really wants to accept that it's over um, because this has all been a little bit spare of the moment. But, you know, I guess we'll see if they end up getting back together or not but yeah Kim's just letting everyone know it's all over it's time to go home I think Faye's gonna come and check on Melanie though because I think Faye if anyone was expecting this it's Faye because Melanie did say to Faye when they met she was saying that she was having doubts so yeah I think that Faye was probably expecting this probably more than Kim so um she's gonna come and try and console Melanie even though Melanie doesn't really seem like she needs consoling she seems absolutely fine the pianist isn't really sure what to do now he's um he's staying <laughs> he's sticking around I think Kim's probably gonna come and wait for Melanie because I think that she knows that they need to talk even though it's probably going to end in an argument I think she knows that then there's some things that need to be said so she's just going to wait over there these two are gonna they're gonna chat about it and uh Faye's gonna see what's going on okay I guess Faye is done trying to find out what's going on oh she's left okay well on that note I guess let's just come and uh talk to Kim I think we'll apologize to her because I think Melanie's calmed down a little bit we'll pretend that she was feeling worse than she is and um yeah, so I think she knows that maybe it wasn't the time and place to wear out their dirty laundry, but at the same time, um, I think that she she knows that they can't be together anymore. I do think that Kim definitely wants to keep trying, though. I don't think that Kim wants to let it go. I think may maybe now that Melanie's expressed how unhappy she is, because I know that throughout this, I've been acting like Kim's the bad guy, and she's not. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's a bit much, but at the same time, Melanie hasn't really said how much Kim pushing her hurts her feelings, so... I don't think Kim realised it until now. I think this has been, you know, I mean, it's past wake up call time, isn't it? Because it's over. But I think that she, the reason she's so hurt is because she just didn't, she just didn't realise that it was such a problem, if that makes sense. So um, I think they're talking about it now. Kim's probably starting to realise her part in it all. I think she's still kind of the mindset that she thinks she can fix it, but I think Melanie's done. I think Melanie, she's had it up to here and um, she's just ready to move on. I think Melanie probably accepted it was over a while ago. Um, so that talk just <laughs> made everything way worse. Uh, right, let's have them head home. They are both gonna go back to the same place. I think Melanie's probably gonna sleep on the couch tonight, but I think that first thing tomorrow, she'll probably call up Faye and uh, see if she can sleep on her couch instead. <laughs> or actually, maybe we will have uh, Melanie go and sleep on Faye's couch. Maybe we'll just have her come back here and pick up some things, cause all of this stuff is hers. Well, let Kim keep the flowers. We don't need them anymore but um all this other stuff he'd probably want to grab just all of her little bits 
but obviously she'll leave all the main stuff here, all the actual furniture. And um, yeah, I think she, she's going to give Faye a call and see if uh, she can sleep on Faye's sofa. Alrighty, so we're actually going to follow Melanie. We're going to leave Kim in the apartment and we're going to go over and play with the Fields family. Alrighty, so these two are just going to chat. I think the reality is just hitting Melanie. I think it's sort of hit her now that actually she she's actually broken up with her fiance. <laughs> so they're going to talk it out. Faye's going to let her know that she can sleep on the couch for as long as she needs. In the meantime, Pixie is looking after the animals, which is usually Faye's job. But um, she's just giving them a bit of space to talk it over. Wait, no. For fuck's sake, I wasn't expecting to just immediately come here and have my heart broken. Mango. Wolfie, do you really is do you really have to do that right now? But now everybody's depressed. Now it's not even just about consoling me Look, Melanie, yes, the floor is wet, the dog just peed. <laughs> there are bigger issues. Oh god, and I got Wolfie and Mango at the same time. So that means Wolfie's next. <laughs> Well, that happened. Let's put him over here with hope. I genuinely wasn't prepared for that. But okay, Mango's dead. Uh, Wolfie's probably not far from it. Now everybody's depressed, including me. So let's eat. <laughs> anyway, what we'll do is we'll have Melanie just chill out and watch TV for a bit. And we'll have Pixie and Faye do some work towards their jobs. Because we did buy that wedding cake, Pixie needs to replace it now. And Faye's gonna work on her YouTube channel for a bit. And then when they're all done with that, we'll send everyone to bed and get ready for tomorrow. All right, everyone is starting to wake up. I've actually managed to get them all sat down eating breakfast together. That is honestly quite a difficult feat in The Sims 4. <laughs> I mean, it didn't last very long, but you know, for a couple of seconds, they're all sat together. Okay, what we're gonna do is Faye and Pixie are gonna go about their normal days. So Pixie's gonna open the shop and do some baking as and when things get bought. Faye's gonna work on her YouTube channel and what Melanie's gonna do is she's gonna try and invite Kim over. I don't know if she'll come or not, but just to see if they can talk a bit more and uh, just be absolutely sure that this is the end and that there's nothing else they can do. Yeah, Kim would rather not come. That's about what I expected. I'm going to assume uh, that she didn't pick up, so I think that's probably a sign that um, it is definitely over. So I guess Melody's got to figure out what she's going to do next. And um, on that note, I think it's time to leave the episode here. So if you are here, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you soon.